a few kilometres up the road, um, they might have the television on in the Russian embassy and they may be watching two former presidents of this country yes. speaking in very, very visceral terms about the fate of Ukraine and the actions of Russia. What would your message be to the Russian ambassador to Ireland? I, I have written to him three times now um, in terms that I couldn't possibly publish. Could you give um, us a sense of it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, like Mary, I'm very angry about this and like everybody, I'm angry. But I'll tell you what... I find hard to deal with. I've never been a person who ever had contempt for another human being, ever. I don't remember ever being contemptuous, but I certainly am now. Of? Of that man. The ambassador. And of what he represents and how he lied to us. And um, the only good thing, if there is any good thing at all to be said here, we know that he went on Russian television mm. and, ex and said that the Irish people were hostile to Russia and that they were treating him and his colleagues very badly. Now, I'm sure that's a narrative that um, Putin wouldn't want to be told, that a wee small nation like Ireland had taken sides, particularly a so-called neutral nation. So I'm grateful, actually, that in an ironic kind of way, in a sardonic kind of way, that, his, that he brought a message to the Russian people through their own... Uh, fake press and their own fake news, but he actually brought a truth about us as a people that, yes, we have taken a side here and we're going to continue taking that side until the Russian people realise that hopefully, hopefully they will have it within their power some of these days to neutralise this militant, demagogic, uh, this appalling, moronic, um, appalling, anti-human man who drives their country into pariah status right around the world.